Oh boy, was I wrong. Well, um, kinda. Remember the Metaverse Champions... Metaverse Horror video I made or whatever? Um, the event doesn't suck. So... The only really real thing that sucks about the event are the art little prizes at the end, but we don't really care about that right now. Um, in fact, there's better free items the crates open when the event ends, so it doesn't even matter. But anyways, I recommend you attend the event if you can, and do the event the best you can. Um, you don't have to get all the badges, so yeah. Anyways, as you've seen, I have made live streams. And so far we're on part 4 and I love it. Part 5 is coming in week 2 on Friday, just so you guys know. So anyways, don't ignore the last Metaverse Drawn video though. If you haven't watched it yet, I do recommend seeing it because there are some things that I feel like still apply to the event. However, the event isn't that bad so far. So this is basically my little review of week 1. Um, there will be reviews for week 2 and 3 and 4 too when they come. So starting with who is winning. So Sparks is winning by a lot. She made it to 1 million in 2 days actually. So she has easier games though and people think that there's a pink Valkyrie which is just a rumor guys. And now people are pulling out rumors that Dieter Plays got kicked out of the event which is actually all fake. It's all fake guys. The pink Valkyrie is a rumor though, um, no one knows if it's fake, however Dieter plays getting kicked out of the event is fake. So AJ's in second place, but has harder games, and he has paid access game too, so he does kind of have a disadvantage, but it's not that bad. So we'll just have to see what happens next week to see if people will still cheer for Sparks, or if AJ will have a better advantage and start winning. I just hope Sparks wins. <laughs> Anyways, I was mainly getting Sparks badges and Ren badges since I feel bad for Ren. He's in fourth place. And I'm going to say it was great and fun. I got to hang out with you guys and much more than originally. And I did discover a new game that I might start to get attached to called Ninja Rush. I told that squad. He's excited because he likes dungeon type games. It was one of Ren games and I wasn't bored for once. Now this talk is short. However, I do want to talk about some of the develop some eh, some of the developers helped us. Like they gave us extra stuff, not just badges. So they some games didn't just give us the badge in the crate. Club the Roblox gave you a limited pet, which was the gem dragon. I'm pretty sure I don't know the exact name, but my droplets gave us cute little hoodie for our pet. It's pretty cool, uh, as you, I don't know if I've colored it in yet at this point of the video, but as you can see, I drew the little gem dragon from <laughs> Club Roblox and the little drop, my droplet with a little hoodie on. So I just, that's what they look like. I drew them, it's super cute. So anyways, and Roville gave you 10,000 cash. Roville is a boring one, but 10,000 cash is, you know what, that's a lot of money, I'll take it. But anyways, you get the deal. Because of that, our efforts were made more worth it, and I feel like getting those badges were much more worth it to me now. I didn't waste time trying to get them, because I got extra stuff, since I already had gotten the crates, so I didn't even, I could skip those games if I wanted to. So now my favorite games that were part of the Metaverse Champions. Week 1 event. These aren't my- these are the games that I like the best are in the Metaverse and not in my own Roblox account. So number 3 on the list was Waterpark Oceanic. I've actually never played this game before. <laughs> Why? Um, it was fun and even though I lost Mallory uh, for a long time. I had so much fun going on the rides, like, even though it wasn't real life, it was something that I could do for once, and I always, back then, I used to love to go to Roblox amusement parks, like, this really old game called Bunny Island that I used to play, like, all the time. Anyways, <laughs> um, number two, uh, oh yeah, 
About number one, I forgot to mention Faye's Dangerous Ride. I loved that, where I got a serious concussion, if you remember from the live stream. I know Mallory would probably remember. So, number two, My Droplets. Why? The nostalgia came flying back to me when I joined this for My Droplets. The last time I played My Droplets was during Easter about a year ago. That's right. That's how I found the little spring boppers from the game. I owned those for a year. They're probably rare now because they've been there for a, ra uh, <laughs> for a year. Uh, <laughs> I can't talk. And number one is Ninja Rush, which I did talk about earlier in the video. And I think I'm starting to like that game. Maybe I'll start playing it. I mean, like, it looks really cool. So that was my review of week one. If you haven't already, I do recommend watching the live streams despite how long they are because we just had so much fun in them and or if you don't want to watch those live streams, you can always attend the new ones. We're live streaming um, Friday, Saturday and Sunday for week two um, this week. So yeah, keep stay tuned for that. The times, I don't have exact times. I do know though that Friday and Saturday in my time zone would be late in the night, but not very late in the night. Probably like six or possibly five, but usually six probably. And the, and sometime in the evening, a little bit earlier than Saturday and Sunday, Saturday and Friday's live stream. Sunday live stream will probably be sometime at like three again. So, anyways, I know that this talk was like very short and stuff, but this was only week one, and I have a feeling I'm gonna have way more to talk about once week two comes out on Thursday because I feel like that as the weeks go on there's more to talk about because there's more exciting leaks and stuff th and things like that so anyways i hope you enjoyed today's video um tell me your opinions if you want and perhaps with your opinions you can do your, who you're cheering for so if you're cheering for aj you can put that down or whatnot and have a mighty day see you guys